SpaceX is said to have a busy December with as many as four launches scheduled for the month. Meanwhile, in terms of Starship development, in Boca Chica, SpaceX has turned its attention from Mark 1 to Mark 3. While in Coco, it now appears that components of Mark 2 and Mark 4 are now being moved to SpaceX's facilities at Roberts Road. Starship Update Last Wednesday, November 20, 2019, SpaceX's Mark 1 Starship experienced an anomaly. During a max pressure test, Mark 1 blew its top. Shortly after the incident, Elon announced via Twitter that SpaceX will now turn its attention from Mark 1 to Mark 3 development. In terms of Mark 3 development, so far a bulkhead is currently under construction in Boca Chica, while a second ring for Mark 3 has already been constructed. On Tuesday, November 26, stands for Starship prototypes were loaded onto trailers and transported from the Coco site to SpaceX's facility at Roberts Road. Based on the significant number of components that have left the Coco site and are now present at Roberts Road, it's now widely speculated that SpaceX will construct Mark 4 at Roberts Road. It's still not totally clear what SpaceX has planned for Mark 2. Since Mark 2 employed many of the same design decisions as Mark 1, it's likely that it will not fly. However, it's possible that SpaceX could reuse some of the parts from Mark II. There's still a lot of questions about how SpaceX will move forward with Starship development. Right now, the company is quickly iterating and laying the foundation for development of the new Mark III and Mark IV design. In other Starship updates last week, at the Tesla Cybertruck unveil, we got a bit of a different view of the stainless steel alloy that will be used on Starship. Notably, the Cybertruck stainless steel exterior looks much smoother than the Starship prototypes we've been seeing so far. The look of the alloy on the Cybertruck just gives us a glimpse at what a production level Starship might look like. According to Elon, Cybertruck pressurized edition will be the official truck of Mars. Upcoming SpaceX launches. Again, December is expected to be a busy month for SpaceX, with as many as three to four Falcon 9 launches scheduled. CRS 19 updates. On Tuesday, 26 November, SpaceX conducted a static fire test ahead of its CRS-19 launch. The launch is scheduled to take place at 12.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on December 4th from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral. For this launch, SpaceX will use a new Falcon 9 booster and a twice-flown Dragon 1 capsule. For this launch, it now appears that the Falcon 9 first stage will attempt a landing on SpaceX's drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, out in the Atlantic Ocean. There are a number of interesting payloads that will be launched aboard CRS-19. Some of these include a seed germination experiment for Budweiser, a group of 40 mice. Some of the mice have been engineered to lack the protein myostatin, which inhibits muscle growth. The experiment will help researchers to investigate muscle degradation in space. Also on board will be a new science package for NASA's Cole Atom Lab as well as a portable tool stowage device. SpaceX's next December launch following commercial resupply 19 is expected to take place on December 15, 2019. For this mission, SpaceX will launch JCSAT-18 Pacific one a communication satellite jointly owned by Pacific and SkyPerfect JSAT Corporation. According to Pacific's website, Pacific One is a high-throughput K-band satellite that will stream broadband to 25 nations in Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands via 56 spot beams. The JCSAT-18 payload, which shares a satellite bus with Pacific, will provide KU-band coverage and improve mobile and broadband services in the Asia-Pacific regions, including the far eastern part of Russia, Crew Dragon in-flight abort, and a possible Starlink launch. As mentioned previously, in December, we should also expect to see the Crew Dragon in-flight abort test, as well as a possible Starlink launch. Just a few weeks ago, SpaceX successfully conducted a series of engine tests ahead of the in-flight abort test. The engine sequence during the test was designed to mimic the sequence that will be used in the in-flight abort. A date for the in-flight abort test has not yet been confirmed by NASA and SpaceX, but we should expect to see an announcement in the coming weeks or even days as both SpaceX and NASA review the data. It's also possible that we could see another launch of 60 satellites for SpaceX's Starlink constellation before the end of the year. The launch is expected to occur no earlier than late December. Just to recap a bit, SpaceX deployed 60 satellites back in May 2019, as well as 60 more in early November. A late December launch will bring the total number of operational satellites to approximately 170, giving SpaceX the record for the world's largest constellation of satellites. As usual, there's a lot happening with SpaceX. As I mentioned previously, December is expected to be packed with as many as four launches, CRS-19, JCSAT Pacific one Crew Dragon in-flight abort, and a possible Starlink launch. 
In the coming weeks, we could also expect to see a lot of changes at the sites of Boca Chica, Coco, and Roberts Road as SpaceX focuses on the development of Mark III and Mark IV.